tutorial assalamualaikum let's see the last video on the dot matrix uh, printing add-on which is the template on how the data the dot matrix printing data is rendered here how we can change or modify the contents that is showing here so actually we use the Odoo templates uh, which is uh, located in the technical email templates okay we just search for the dot matrix templates okay we have uh, three templates here first we check the sales order template okay how to modify this is just uh, edit the template and then uh, see it in the HTML view here code view okay so we can see how the uh, template will be rendered in the sales order okay so first uh, you can see this is the title actually we have to remove the HTML here so we, we just need the plain text uh, data here so this is the sales order title this is just the uh, uh, lines which is uh, will be taking uh, 80 uh, characters long and then and the next one is the customer which is uh, right justified for 20 characters and then the object dot partner id dot display name which is the name of the customer to be displayed but we split we just cut it to 20 characters because of the limitation of the dot matrix uh, size and then the order date we have the order date right after the display name of the partner and then we enter the line to show the part payment terms so we have here the Python code so actually this is the Jinja template so if you want to explore more about how is the template how is it working just look at the Jinja uh, documentation or do use this for the email template and then so on we have the products list here for the product list we see there is a, a line which is 80 characters long for the header of the line for the header so uh, this one is product quantity unit of measure taxes price units subtotal uh, each of them are justified accordingly right justified right justified so we have to adjust the uh, number of characters here to match your paper to match your <coughs> matrix paper width and then for the product lines we have to look the object order line of the access order object so we have an order line field here in the sales of the object which contain the list of uh, order line so we have to look this uh, field into L variable and then display the L variable uh, accordingly so we have a product name which is uh, cut by 31 character and then left justified with the 31 uh, size width and then format the unit of measure quantity with this uh, float format and then write justify it with six length of character and then the product you own unit of measure and then the taxes and then the price units and then the subtotal and then the loops continues up until the order line is uh, uh, empty and then we just close this with the uh, uh, lines 80 character of dash character and then at the uh, bottom of the form we show the amount and text the text and the total and once again we have to remove this this uh, HTML codes here to make the template works perfectly and then we just save that template and then we see another template actually this one is the same thing 
for the object invoice and then the other one is for the PO thing notice and then this is the template once again we want to look it clearly we have to edit and see it in the code view uh, but don't forget once you enter the code view the HTML here is appearing automatically so we have to remove that manually and then save okay that is the template of the 